Hello. In my previous video, you would have seen that I added um, this HTML code, which I got from W3 Schools, and added it onto my website as an index.html file. Well, in this tutorial now, I'm going to show you how to add an image to the web page using FTP. If you look here, there's a lot of blank image that says nature. Well, that was part of the code that come from W3 Schools, but I haven't actually got that image. So I need to add one in, and I'll show you how to do that now. You fire up your FTP software. If you don't know what FTP software is, software is you can Google that one. On the left, you'll see files that are on my PC. On the right, which is here, is my public HTML folder, which is the main folder you put all your files in for your website. So I'll upload an image called My Dogs, and I'll upload that and stick that in the public underscore HTML folder. So it sits there right there. And if you view the image, the you know, uploaded correctly it shows sometimes if you have issues with FTP you might have to change this setting here like auto but generally they go on okay so then you want to edit your code here and you don't need to be typing the code manually for images it's long time consuming and there's quicker ways to do it and most FTP softwares have a button or a function for you to add images right so we look at the code we'll go down and this is the image on this page here that says nature and this bit of code just here is actually Here, this line here, just this line here. That's from there to there. Right, so if I wanted to insert an image, I've already uploaded a file called mydogs.png. So if I click this button here, insert image, it says, click that, you put the file name in. Because it's in the root directory, I'm going to say, what, you put a little forward slash in front of it, mydogs.png. PNG, and you can link it to the hyperlink if you want the image to be clickable and take them to a new page but we won't do that in this tutorial we can put some text on the image and say my dogs and we click ok so we've got that like that and it's all in place let's go over to the website refresh the website there you go the image has come out but it it doesn't look that good it, it needs resizing and so we can make it smaller by using the width and height attribute but on the whole it, it, that's how you add an image to your website please subscribe and like this video if you like my content i'll be adding new tutorials um daily if there's a tutorial you want to know how to do with anything regarding PHP, HTML, MySQLi databases, please drop a comment and I can make a tutorial on it. Thanks for watching.